Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at how to prevent odd numbers within a range. So what I have here on the sheet at the moment is I have column A where for whatever reason I would like to prevent the entry of some odd numbers. I'm actually going to look at preventing them in range A2 to A10 in this example. So because we're looking at preventing them our route is to use our data validation tool and what we're going to need to do is use the mod function within that uh, so the mod function just to kind of be clear on that uh, is a function that as I mentioned screen at the moment will return a remainder after a number is divided by a divisor so our plan is to divide the number that is in the cell that we are checking by 2 to see if there is a remainder or not. If there is not a remainder, if it comes back with zero, then it, the number must be even. And if it does come back with a, with a remainder, if it comes back with one, then it must be odd. Uh, we want to make sure that only even numbers are entered. If I just put an opening bracket on that function, I can see that it's going to ask for two kind of mandatory bits of information, um, which we can probably expect. It's going to ask us for the number and then what the divisor is. So, for example, where we're going to be saying A2, the very first cell to check, uh, and then the divisor will be 2. So, if I just escape that, I will select the range in question, A2 to A10, or whatever it may be for yourself. I will go to the Data tab and Data Validation button. From here, we're in our Settings tab. From this drop-down list for any value, we will select Custom. Because I'm going to be writing a formula in here, I'll have to go to rid of custom here. So that I get this formula box. We're going to type equals mod open in bracket. I'm going to ask it to check dollar A2. So I want it to check cell A2, which is the first cell of my range. Please use the first cell of your range. And I have a dollar sign before the A and not the 2 which would be a mixed reference because I want to fix column A but I need it to be able to move down each of these cells so I've only selected column A so the dollar sign before the A is, is irrelevant to be fair um, but it's in there now and the most important thing is that number 2 is not fixed that is the, the important thing of that so that it will move down and look at every cell so that it says A2 we can kind of think of that as every cell comma 2 the second bit of information mod wanted was what was the divisor we want to divide whatever number is in the set it's checking by 2 close bracket equals 0 so saying that that formula has to equal true the answer has to equal true do the mod does that equal 0 yes it does that's ok does it not that is not ok and if it's an odd number it will return 1 what we're going to do is we're going to click on the error alert now that we've got our criteria in using our mod function there we have an error alert so that we can explain to the user what they've done wrong they may not realize at first sight that they have just typed an odd number or maybe they think they can put odd numbers in this range um, so I'm just going to type a title that is an odd number And in the follow message, you have entered an odd number. Please try again. So some good informative text would come into play there, so that the user knows what they've done wrong. I'm going to click OK. That rule is now set. So should I want to type even numbers in these, it's perfectly happy moment an odd number goes in I am prevented from doing so and have an explanation as to why that is an odd number you have answered an odd number please try again I can retry another odd number what is going on to I'm in I'm allowed to put that kind of number in and that is a way of preventing odd numbers in these cells a data validation tool um, and our mod function to check for the remainder Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out some other tips and tutorials at computergargar.com.